air and its properties. Part 2 Hi friends, I have returned again. In the previous video, you learnt about my qualities and my uses. In this video, let us understand some more aspects. I have very interesting qualities that make me very important. But due to the manipulation by humans, I am becoming very polluted, which is neither good for humans, trees nor any other animals. Let us understand the air pollution and ways to control it through the characters of this video. The aim of this video is to understand about air pollution and ways to control it. Anju, yesterday's experiments were so interesting. We learned a lot about air. Yes, air is very important. It is fundamental to our existence. But I still have a lot of questions. Do air only contain oxygen? Hmm, let's ask father. Father, I still have some doubts. Does air only contain oxygen? Come children, please sit. There are gases like nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide etc. in the air. Oxygen is important for our survival. Plants use carbon dioxide to make food. You have told us that we breathe oxygen. We also know that due to the presence of oxygen, things burn. Yes, you are right. We need clean air to breathe. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen sometimes. But why, Father? There are ill effects of air. Yes, I remember. I had somewhere read about air pollution. What is that? There are also dust, smoke and germs in the air. Oh, does this cause coffin illnesses? Yes, you are right. Since dust, smoke and germs have harmful effects, we need to keep the air clean. Can you list all the things needed to keep the air clean? Fresh air is of utmost necessity. We must make efforts to plant trees, cover dustbins, not burst firecrackers and not burn waste. In this way, our health is also protected and taken care of. Do these steps help in improving the air quality? Yes, of course. Apart from this, we need to take a few more steps. We need to take public transport while going to different places. As more people fit into the bus, that way many personal vehicles will be off the road. We also should use bicycle if we are going to nearby places. This will help improve the air quality. It is better to make an arrangement for three to four people going in one car if the destination is the same. This again will ensure that more personal vehicles are not used and the environment is protected. Yes, father. We will explain the importance of fresh air to all our friends tomorrow. Each of us needs to contribute to this good cause. Well, I am glad you are understanding. Children, we can feel the moving air. Do you remember that when we went to Chachaji's house near the lake last year, you saw some big towers with blades? Yes, I remember. Didn't you say they are windmills? Yes, you are right. These are windmills. 
they are used to generate energy and electricity these operate on the principle that air flows when air hits the blade energy is produced when air moves slowly it is called wind the kite flies due to this wind can you think of any other things that move due to wind but sometimes the wind flows with too much force yes this fast moving air is called storm dust storms cause a lot of havoc we should stay indoors when a storm strikes this means that air can cause destruction strong winds can cause destruction thank, thank you father, father for, for explaining, explaining about, about air we, we will keep, keep these things, things in, mind. in mind in this video we all learnt about pollution ways to control pollution and ill effects of air i hope you all enjoyed this video goodbye